Hi guys, welcome back to the studio, Ryan aka Bloodshot Airbrushing and Pooch. Uh, we are right in the middle of the Dragon Project guys and it occurred to me that I got a hack video for you guys. Um, Something I've been using for years and I haven't seen a lot of other guys doing this. It could save you some time guys, maybe not a lot of money. Actually, yeah, I could save some cash too now that I think about it. Masking tape costs money, guys, and if you ain't using the stuff, well, then you are saving. Are you not? Yes, yes, you are. All right, guys, I'm just going to plop the camera up, and we will talk a little bit about where we are leading with this little hack. Maybe you can see where I'm getting that on the dragon piece there. It's magnetic, guys. Alright guys, so this is it. Little tiny magnets. Um, I got a whole bunch of them. Um, these are not your neodymium magnets. I'm sure I did not say that correctly. <laughs> yeah. uh, magnets. Alright. Nothing fancy. You go to your dollar store, you can pick up a whole bunch of them. Um, I like to use magnets. Now, mind you, they're not going to work on everything, but there is a bit of a hack for that as well, guys. Um, the nice thing about using magnets is I have the ability to rapidly shift and change where this guy is sitting. I can move him about. Um, if I'm doing multiple layers of stencils, I might want to pull this guy off real quick. Grab another stencil, lay that stencil on, bam, guys, I don't have to tape it down. Um, when you are running with tape, you risk peeling off the paint if you lay that tape over top of prior paint. So again, guys, with the magnets, there's no chance of peeling any tape, no chance of peeling any paint. You just uh, stick it and go. Um, this works great on the gas tanks too, guys. Ah. So, uh... You know, if you were doing a skull on a tank, guys, ba bam a couple magnets in a couple special strategic areas, and you're good to go. Now, always when I'm spraying a stencil, whether it's taped down, whether it's magnetic, whether I've got it cut, I like to sit there and hold it down with my finger. Sometimes I will even use my blade and push down in those areas as I'm spraying my paint just to make sure I get nice crisp edges, guys. So that's it. Uh, magnets, uh, as opposed to masking tape. You will save time and you will save money. Um, I just grabbed these from the dollar store, guys. They're nothing fancy whatsoever. It's not your hardcore magnets, just standard little fridge magnets for craft projects. Um, now, if you are working on a canvas, guys, or if you are working on a t-shirt, and you're like, oh, that's brilliant, but how does that apply to me? Guess what, guys? Super simple. Head down to your local sheet metal supplier, um, walk in there, give them some dimensions. Guys, you might even be lucky. It's happened to me in the past. I walk in there, I said, you know, I need something about this size and he's like let's go to the bin went to the bin he's like will this work i said perfect man he's like have a good day i'm like what do i owe you he's like take it so guys go down there's no harm in asking slap that piece of sheet metal in behind your canvas slap that piece of sheet metal in behind your t-shirt if you're working on fiberglass panels which i do all the time guys saddlebags trunks even some of these fairings are all fiberglass, guys. Put a chunk of metal in behind it. Your magnet will go through that fiberglass. It ain't very thick, guys. And uh, if you find that it ain't working, get a stronger magnet. That's all you need, guys. Magnets. They're fun to play with, too. All right, guys. There she be. Um... I hope you use it. I hope that saves you some time. I hope that saves you some money. And I hope that allows you to focus on the spraying guys and the little insignificant here's and there's in between guys remain well. Just that. Insignificant guys. So with that being said, I think we're going to wrap up this video. 
Another little hack for the brain box stored in there, guys. Save it for a rainy day. Well, maybe not. Metal and magnets in the rain. That equals rust, guys. Keep it indoors, all right, guys. And with that being said, and with that being stuck down, guys, we will wrap this up as another hack video. Until next time, stay tuned to the Dragon Series. We're getting on in there, guys. As you can see, we got some claws. Check that out. And uh, as always, guys, like, follow, subscribe. Thanks for coming along for the ride. Cheers. Aha. All right, guys, plenty more hack videos coming on down the line. And if you think you can add to this series, guys, you have any comments, if you have any questions, guys, hit me up. Drop me a line in the comment section, guys, and I will get back to you. And as always, guys, cheers.